Madai Kara Long ago, out on the Kazakh steppe, a great tree grew. This was the Beiterek, the world tree. It had its branches in the heavens, its trunk in the human world, and its roots in the underworld. In the heavens lived two birds that called out the number of days remaining until the end of the world. And in the underworld, the god Elik ruled. The ruler of the human world was Madai Kara, and his reign was glorious. But then he grew old and began to lose his power. He fell asleep for 60 days. And when he woke up, his enemies were already approaching. He knew there would be a terrible war. And so he took his baby son, Kogude Mergen, to the Black Mountain to keep him safe and left him there. Madai Kara went back to fight the battle, but he lost and the new ruler, Karakula made all Madai Kara's people slaves. Meanwhile, on the Black Mountain, a poor woman had found the baby Kogude Mejin. She took care of him until he was ready to live life on his own. Kogude Mejin left the mountain and rode across the land on his horse. He crossed a poisonous sea and went through the moving mountains. He faced many monsters on his way. Finally, he reached the home of Karakula and defeated him in battle. Kogude Mergin became the new ruler and set all his people free. Then he married the beautiful Altin Kusku. But his quest was not over yet. He descended into the underworld where the dead dwell and fought Elik, the lord of the underworld. Kogude Mejin won the fight and he released all the good souls from the underworld leaving only those who had committed terrible acts in life. Kogude Mejin and his wife Altin Kusku ruled in peace and harmony for many years, and a new golden age arrived in the human world. When their lives were over, Kogude Mejin, Altin Kusku, and the leaders of the seven great Khans became stars. If you look into the sky on a clear night, you can still see them there, watching over the world. <laughs>